Hello all and welcome to Kalam Learning Lab YouTube channel. Hope you all are safe in your houses in this lockdown. As we all know that uh, the entire nation is in a lockdown and all are being forced to stay in your houses. I know many of you would have heard about this word graphic designing. But we are here to enhance your knowledge more about this topic. So let's get into the video. And if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Graphic design. I know this is not a new term because each and every one of us come across this word in our day to day lives. But to explain it technically, I can say that it is all about solving a problem visually. Yes, it may be an illustration, a creative design like this or a CGI, which we call it as a computer generated imagery. Now to get to know what makes a design is very important. Yes, there are four main elements that act as a root of a design, a line, a shape, a form and a color is combined together. You will get a beautiful design like what you are seeing right now on the screen. Now the question that might arise is, is a graphic design really important? because uh, a content can be expressed even without a design right in a plain text or something but i would say that it's important and there are three things that has to be concentrated i'm gonna show you one by one and i will also tell you without these three elements how your design is gonna look like the first very important thing is a texture yes instead of delivering your content like this i would suggest you to add a texture like what you're seeing now, see? The next very important aspect is to use an appropriate typography in your design. A typography like this looks more creative than a typography like this. Though the content is same, the manner of delivery is very important. Then comes the color. Now, this is a very important aspect to be concentrated because a black and white is never a good idea. Whereas adding a color like this gives it a whole new perspective. So we know the important aspects and elements of a graphic design by now. But the question is where exactly it is used. Here's where it is exactly used and we classify them as uh, types of graphic design. The very first one is a visual identity graphic design. Yeah, as the word visual identity itself suggests, it's nothing but it's an identity of a brand by using a design. It might be a brand's logo or a brand's slogan. So you can see them normally in a brand kit like this. So your brand kit is nothing but it's just a type of a hamper uh, that has multiple products of the same company uh, with a brand logo of this or even most commonly in a business card of a company like this. Each and every brand has a visual identity of its own which they use in all their products and we easily recognize them by looking at a brand's logo. The next is marketing and advertising graphic design. So you would have come across different advertisements in social media, television or a newspaper. And the thing that is common in all this is that the message has been communicated using a attractive color and in a creative design. That is very important for advertising and a graphic design because no matter how powerful your message is, but at the end of the day, your design has to be attractive to reach a number of people. So I'm pretty sure that you would have seen a marketing design in your day to day life, be it a browser like this or whenever you visit a fancy restaurant for dinner, you would have sure got an attractive menu card like what you're seeing right now on the screen. Now. Very quickly, let me show you some of the real brands that has used this advertising in a very creative manner. Next we have in our list is a user interface graphic design. I know this is a very, very popular kind of graphic design, which all of us go through in our regular life, day to day life. So whatever the app that you, are, you might be using, be it Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat, anything. 
everything has this as its fundamental along with android applications ua is also most commonly used in web development uh, such as wordpress shopify amazon and many other websites the next is art and illustrative graphic design so we are going to discuss about this in detail in our upcoming videos but for now uh, let me tell you that uh, you might be playing video games a lot so whatever you see in a video game or a animated film is basically a part of art and illustrative graphic design now remember that art and illustration is just a part of a video game whereas to design a video game it typically requires cgi to be into action and as i said earlier cgi is nothing but computer generated imagery so in the upcoming videos i'll be explaining and showing you the tools that you can use for graphic designing thanks for watching the video guys stay home stay subscribed and we will be out with our new video very soon